is a video summary of our case entitled Leg Weakness and Paresthesia Provides a Clue to Sudden Death Due to Aortic Dissection. An 86-year-old man was admitted to the hospital after a fall associated with sudden severe lower back pain and lab leg weakness. Contrast CT to examine for traumatic injuries revealed an extensive Stanford Type A aortic dissection. Panel A shows the dissection flap in the abdominal aorta with posterior location of the fourth lumen causing spinal cord ischemia, hence lower limb weakness and paresthesia. The distal dissection tended to expand retrogradely into the descending thoracic aorta, aortic arch and ascending aorta as indicated by the yellow arrows in panel B. The transthoracic echocardiogram in the emergency department shows clear sight of the dissection flap in the ascending and descending aorta as indicated by the yellow arrows in panel C with no pericardiac effusion. 30 minutes into the echo scan, fluid started accumulating rapidly in the pericardial space with no warning signs or preceding symptoms. This is indicated by the green arrows in panel D. The fluid accumulation led to cardiac tamponade due to aortic root rupture. The patient became unresponsive and had a cardiac arrest. Unfortunately, the cardiopulmonary resuscitation was unsuccessful. Our illustration represents a case of distal aortic dissection with proximal expansion that has led to a fatal aortic root rupture coinciding with the focused echocardiography in the emergency department. With our case, we are calling for awareness of patients presenting with symptoms of lower back pain and bilateral leg weakness to consider spinal cord ischemia due to aortic dissection as a differential diagnosis. Once the diagnosis of type A aortic dissection is made, only an emergency surgical intervention can reduce mortality. Vast awaiting surgery, stringent blood pressure control as well as adequate analgesia is essential. Thank you for listening.